Hey guys, welcome back to Billy Ray Garage. Today, we're gonna be getting the rest of the stuff off this engine. We're gonna be getting the oil pan, the oil pump, we're gonna dig the chain out, and also the pickup tube, get that disconnected, and I think that may be doing it for stripping the engine down for as far as we wanna go. And also, while I got you in the beginning of the video, I'm thinking about painting the engine. So if you have any good color suggestions, let me know, or should I just clean it up, keep it the same? Uh, the heads, I'm going to keep silver. The intake's obviously gonna be black. And we're gonna go from there. So yeah, give me your suggestions on what color you think I should paint the engine, or if I should at all. And also I just wanna say I have an Instagram page. I'll have it posted right here. It's gonna be Billy underscore Ray underscore Garage. I think I may be doing a giveaway of some sort. Ooh. So follow along for that. Plus I post pictures a little bit ahead of schedule of when the videos come out. So if you wanna be in the loop, see what's coming up, check it out. So let's start diving into this. Alrighty, so first thing we're gonna do is get this oil pan taken off and then that'll give us access to the inside and we can start taking more stuff apart. Like the pickup tube, because I know there's a couple bolts in there. I think there's one or two. I know there's definitely one right here, but there may be one further in that we have to disconnect to get this out, and then we can pull the pump. We will start with the oil pan, and those are all 10 millimeter bolts. And I believe in the back there's some longer ones. Let's check it out. So yeah, in the back you got these two longer ones that you have to get, so make sure you keep track of those. And... Keep it in a Ziploc bag so you don't lose them. So if you have anything going on in the engine and you're taking this off, just replace everything new. They say it time and time again, just do it new. All right guys, like I said before, 10 millimeter bolts. Just gonna work our way all the way around and hopefully this thing doesn't drop down. All right guys, oil pan is taken off and the pickup tubes right here. Our chain is now dangling. Uh, just one quick little thing. There is a little plate that goes where the transmission goes. It goes like right over here. Uh, you have to take that out in order to get the last bolt on here. So this actually connects to the oil pan. So don't lose this. The other side was completely clear. Here's our tray underneath. And these are our 10 little bolts that we just took off. Now there's two more that go in where the, the timing chain cover goes. Those two bolts are in a different bag over there somewhere. So keep track of those, don't lose them. You're gonna need them. And just keep in mind that there is oil in there and you're gonna have to dump it. So I'm gonna dump that real quick. Alrighty guys, so now we are onto this pickup tube. Uh, this bolt here is part of the windage tray. There's a 13 millimeter. And then this little guy that holds the pickup tube on, that is a 10 millimeter. So let's bang that out real quick and get this little turd off. Okay, so that's, so it's just a little nut for the windage tray. Gentle with that. And then, should be an O-ring in there holding this thing together. So just wiggle it just a little bit. Hopefully there's no copyright infringement. And there is our pickup tube. Tube. All right, now we're going on to our oil pump because we got a brand new one. We're gonna put it on as a high volume. There are four bolts holding this on. So we're gonna pull them off and go from there. All right, let's bust these guys out. Two. Keep track of your bolts. All right, now this thing should just slide right off. There's our oil pump. It is liberated. And that could just go right here because we're not going to use that again where we're going. And then our timing chain. Let's 
splits right out. So there's out with the old, in with the new. Chris Fix right there. Ooh, Chris Fix. Great channel, by the way. And somebody's texting me. We don't need this anymore. Yeet. Alrighty guys, so the engine is stripped down about as far as it needs to be. So, like I said earlier in the video, let me know what color I should paint the engine, if I should at all, I'm gonna clean it up. I'm gonna pour some sea foam in there, clean up these pistons a little bit, and uh, give it a good little cleaning. And then after this, should be going back together. Woohoo, finally. But I still gotta do some work on the car itself. The car out is out in the driveway. Uh, I gotta get the ECU out so I could send it out to a shop and have them program it to get it there. And then obviously I gotta get it tuned, I gotta get it aligned. I gotta do all that other stuff. But first things first, get this bitch back together. And I gotta do some research and do a couple things like whether or not I could make my fuel pressure gauge go inside these holes. I still need to inspect that. So it's pretty cool how this little system works. Oh, and also if I'm gonna get the oil cooler. And also I have one of those, it goes inside of here. So I got a oil racing pan baffle. So I don't know if this comes out yet or what the deal with it is yet, but apparently there's trap doors in it to keep oil here so you don't suck it dry like your mom did last night. And yeah, so I got to I got to do a little research into that so I don't I got I didn't get it yet. And then I got to wait for the new head bolts to come in because I got the wrong ones. They're right there. They're for a Gen 3. I need a Gen 4. Oops. So being that I ordered all this stuff back in like September, I can't return it. So if anybody needs Gen 3 head bolts, I will sell them at a very, very discounted price. So if you have a Camaro, Firebird, you need bolts, ARP bolts, let me know. If not, they're going on Facebook Marketplace or something like that, and I'll sell them off there. But I don't need them, obviously. So in the meantime, I'm going to give this engine a bath. I'm going to clean it up as best I can, get it ready to go back together. And like I said, give me your suggestions on paint, not paint, eh. I'm kind of leaning towards black, but I'm going to get everything cleaned up, make it all purdy, so when it goes back together, no issues. Tearing this engine down went way quicker than I thought it would. So yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of it for the engine teardown stuff, so I'm going to be posting a video on my Jeep and showing everything that I did to it, but I want to take the frame off again and clean it up, but I'll get more into that when I kind of give the walk around to that thing. So anyway, thanks for watching. And keep following for more. This thing's going back together very, very soon. Thank you very much. Out.